Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box. I have an Amazon store and I'm an affiliate of Amazon. So hopefully everything's easy to find because it's in one place now. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when videos come out, hit that notification bell. And likes and comments and questions are welcome. Okay, let's get rolling. <sighs> I've got a new toy. <laughs> I'm struggling with just a little bit, but it's it's getting there. I'm just um, getting a feel for it, so I've played. So let's get going to get these flowers rolling. So I got my Tim Holtz blower. I've got vineyard and amethyst, and get rolling on them. And they they each have a little bit of a different color to them, so they really act well together. I want to get that a little more rounded up here. I don't want it to... There we go. I like that better. I'm coming back to the same spot and we'll keep putting generally right here in the middle again because I want all the petals looking like they're coming from the same area. Amethyst is really a lot more thinner than vineyard because it spreads fast. So I think what I'm going to do is put vineyard down first because that one just spreads so much. So I'm going to do this one first because it hopefully won't go crazy as fast. Oh, I just ran my thing right through it. Okay. Hold on. We got to fix that. Okay. I'm going with that because I've tried to fill this area in and I'm just going to say it's not working. And that's different. That's a odd flower. All right. I want to do a bud. Right through here. Okay, I need to look at something because this flower almost looks like it's going this way. I'm going to try to, I was trying to make it that way. It looks like it's going that way. So I'm going to do my stem like this. So I'm going to do a flower here. do a flower right here. But I want this one big. Now that I've said that, it'll get ginormous. But Okay. We'll put something tiny right maybe I want it droopy. Do I want it up? Okay. Do I want it coming down or going up? I think I want it down. Okay. Um.
I'm going to do the lighter, I think. So I'm going to do amethyst. I don't know where I want this. So if it was right there. Okay, I'm going to do it right there. All right, I made a wrong choice, I will say. I knew it would balloon out, and it did, and I don't like that. But we're going to go with it and make the best of that because I knew it ballooned out. I shouldn't have. I should have done the vineyard, but it's okay because we're going to make this work. It's gorgeous colors anyway, so. All right, so here, put my sap green down and we'll put my stems so if it's coming like this going to go. All right, that looks stupid. <laughs> this is where you just need to get another piece of paper and you need to draw on it to make sure it doesn't look dumb. And I just don't like to do that. So I take the consequences of doing something that should have gone to this stem. But oh well, hey, just we're not going to worry about it. Because when you get the leaves down, you're not even going to notice it. Okay. I don't know why I'm going ahead and putting the white in. I think I can get antsy. All right. So here's the new thing. Um, I've seen people use this end. I've seen them use this. I don't even know if I've seen them use the other stuff. But I'm going to use that. I'm going to put it down for a second to make a little stem. And then I'm going to put this in... in drag it around and do what I need to do and see if it will, if it will do. So I'm going to put one here. It's heavy. I was surprised on how heavy it is and I think it's throwing me a little bit. I don't want to put one right there, should I? Yeah, let's do it. And I like the fact that I, I'm not great at it, and I love the look of that. Hmm, didn't know where to go from here. One needs to be here.
Okay, so I do one. I could do one from here across, but that's going to really just mess that up. Um, I want to do one off this stem, but I want to do one over here too. from up here and I want it to come out of like this so it's turned something like that I don't want to do one right there but I'm wondering if I should just leave it Unless I do a small one. Let's do a small one. Something needs to be here. As unnerving as all those are, I love them, but man, you're talking about tight in your muscles. Woo! Okay. All right, let's just finish this out. Okay, I'm kind of curious on something. And this is where I would love to have some of this and not all of it. You know how they have the little ones that come out? Whoa, holy cow, pick it up, is that beat up? How in the world I didn't mess something up. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Not too bad. All right, oh, what next, what next, what next? I was going to outline. Now I'm not so sure I want to. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's just put a center in this one and see. This this may be it. It truly may be it. Uh, whew. Unless I do tiny white to indicate separation, but I don't think I want to do the black. I think... Mm -mm. I don't think I do. So, I 
All right, if I'm thinking it's going this way, and this is the leaf, and it's opening up, well, I can't do my hands. I'm going to make this more of the hump, and this more flatter. And I've got, what I've got to decide on here is this line right there. That's going to indicate where this leaf is coming this way. I'm not going to make it round. I'm just doing some of this now that I've seen it to indicate maybe where some petals are going. Very indicative, not actual. Okay, I am back. This is dry. I did it with the acrylic ink. So I wanted to let it dry. Okay, and then I also, I'm not sure if you can see. Can you see the little black lines that I've done? Just barely so, so little. Um, you really can't see them well <clears throat> but they're there and I'm going to kind of hopefully put very light white on it now I'm not spraying it so this white's going to pick up a little bit of that ink and so it won't be really stark bright so I'm going to go ahead and start I've already got my center done and I kind of jagged my center a little bit um, <clears throat> let me see what I want to do here I want to put this down, but I want to mess it up. So I'm just going to put some stuff down initially. And this one's kind of flat like that. I just want to see if I can just get it. A little messed up a little bit there's more there than I want so I'm gonna wipe some of this off well that's interesting You see the marks? I keep having to stand up to see. Okay, I'm not sure. Can you see the markings this makes? It just... Well, let me get some... See how it just... Anyway, that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> and I want to go back over this. With the dark... A lot of dark on this side. Huh, 
That's just a kind of interesting. Wow. I'll dip it a little white. Wow. I know, Henry. I find that if I'm not real serious and I just kind of pedal, <laughs> it just comes out so much better. All right, what I do want to do here is just make a few little, I'm using the back of my brush. You can use a dotting tool. Even if some of these mark and some of them don't, I like the fact that they're just kind of a here and there thing. All of them don't need to do that. They just need to indicate that they're doing that. Henry, what is the problem? Hmm? All right. I am pretty happy with that just because it is so just kind of messy. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of black on these. <laughs> He's back. Just want to barely indicate, barely touching it. And I find out if there's less paint on it, the finer it'll get and the easier it is to do this. If you have a lot of paint on it, you're going to get thicker lines. Let's see, this takes a little bit of white. I'm going to do this one right here. And I'm going to run it along that black. I'm, I don't know, it may sh make it show up better, it may not. But I think them side by side will definitely create something really funny. He's pulling at my shirt. What? Goodness. Yeah, I, that's just so subtle, but I really like it.
And if you like the squiggles, do them too. I mean, that would be just as good. But I don't know if the white would show up really well. Now I am going to run a little bit brighter through here because this is where these petals have flipped back this way. The center is going that way and I definitely want there to be a line here. The dark's not showing up so I'm going to do a little bit of the light. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you gotta stop. And so, yeah, I really like the subtleness because I didn't want to do, do one of my playful, chunky ones. I know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to... Will you quit? I think that's all I'm going to do. Just something like that. So, yeah, I really like it, this ooh, tiny white. I think I like it even more, so make it a little bolder. That's pretty cool. Now I am going to take my airbrush. I'm going to do a little green. And I'm going to make me some marks. Okay, sorry about all the interruptions. <laughs> My phone is running out of memory. Um, so I'm putting some of the sap green squiggles. Maybe all I do. I am liking the white. I really do like that. And I think that's a good choice. And I'm just running one of them down here because it's... I don't have anything here where the leaves are. Quit licking my water bowl, Henry. Makes it a little, a little bit better. Go. Yeah, I really like that. So yeah, because it's it fades out. 
because it pulls in some of that purple. So yeah, that's a really cool effect. I like that. Glad we did it. Okay, you know I'm not done because I didn't splatter. I want to splatter. So stay tuned to the end and see how we made the card because this is, I just love it and I want to make some cards out of it, but you can't cut this in half and it look right. So stay tuned and watch how I did this one. Okay, so the only purple I have is my Bombay ink. So I'm going to set it, put some here. Now I'll still use my sap green for this, but the Bombay is what I had. So let me get some of that. And I'm just going to do it like I always do, but I love this look. I'm going to keep the purple around the purple. There's that. Now with Bombay, you can rinse with water. And then my sap, I'll go down here. I want some pretty big blobs because I love that. As an add-on, I'm gonna purposely make a card like this picture. Now, you can't cut this up. It's just not good for that. So I'm going to purposely make one. So I want to go on the same idea and just put a couple blooms in here. All right, that one's about to shoot out. Okay, let me try this again. Yeah, I like that size. I may just put another little one right here. Now, I picked this one because the other one drops out and it's thinner. This one's a little thicker, so I think it'll do better on something small. The other one, remembered it just spread real quick, and I don't, I just don't want that. See, and we'll do one about here. I don't want to add something right there, don't I? Ooh, yeah, I think I do. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a little weird, but I am not going to mess with it. Okay. Now, let me take some of my sap green. And just make me some stems. All right, now, <laughs> this is where I tore and made smaller one because I don't want huge leaves. I want something proportionate. So, I'm going to do this.
Now, I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. I think I'm really good with this. I'm, I think I'm going to leave it because I'm liking, for the most part, this could stand a little bit more. There. Rarely do I go back and touch it up and it's great. Okay, so I'm going to leave that. Now I'm going to, because this needs to get dried, but I, I do want to splatter some of this. Yep. And I want to put down some ink here. I'm happy with that. Makes me wonder if I want to do squiggles. I do want to do some black ones. I do want to do that. So while these are drying, I can get up in here. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Couldn't have made that do it if I wanted to. A little bit okay I'm gonna leave that because I think that's good I want to do one or two green. I do. I really do. And I think I'm going to do something here. But I'm going to come to the base of that flower. And then I may do... I'll do one here, I think. Nope. That's still too wet. Color that in a little bit where it blew it out a while ago. I think I'll do one just here. Okay, I think I'll stop. If I can't just automatically go to where I want it, I think I'm going to quit. Okay, so there you have it. It's a proportioned size card the same as a bigger pitcher. So there you go. All right, y'all go have fun.